What's up, what's up, everybody? This is your boy, Ing Vendera, and this is season two, episode three um, of The Office. This is Olympic Game at Work. So, as always, we can... This is, this is honestly super well written. One of my favorite episodes of the second season. Um, I know I'm saying a lot of them are my favorite, but it's a really good show. It's, uh, we, we say how, how nice the, the Office, how cool it is that it's a paper company. What's more boring than a paper company, right? And then we're, we're showcasing that some of the employees are bored. And Jim, by being bored, gets interested in what other people are doing. And he discovered that a lot of people in the... Because in the in the very first couple of seasons, your favorite is supposed to be Jim. Um, let me let me explain why. Uh, Jim is the guy that everybody wants to succeed with Pam. The other one... The, one of the... It's one of the main focus of the show. It's how it was about Jim or Michael, and Michael's a fuck up. You want kind of you kind of see Jim, and it's like okay, well, he's cool, he's normal, you know. We want him to succeed. So we have Jim who's bored, and he noticed that other people in the office are bored, and they all have games. So they organize the Olympics, and it's about coming together as a team. It's about getting together, and it's kind of cool because you can see Angela and you can see Stanley. They're they're not down with the Olympic games, so you can see the difference in mentality. And you can see that they're clashing, right? But at the end of the day, it's all about having fun. It's about uh, being together, doing something together. Because in the very first episode, it was the Dundies, right? And you can see that uh, people they didn't know each other a lot because Sandy comes with his wife and nobody knows that it's his wife, you know? Even if they're holding hands. So we, we, see, we see this. We see a second plus line because the office often have a plot line. Two plot lines. So the second plot line is Michael, he went to see Kondo. Right? And that's the reason why Jim was bored, because Michael wasn't there, or Dwight wasn't there to fuck around, right? So, he goes to the condo, and we realize that, yo, he hasn't made some good financial decision, and it's... This is very interesting, because it's, also, it's A, about Michael being a dick to Dwight, which we see often, and about B, uh, Michael realizing that he messed up his whole life, because he didn't get any money. It's, it's about C, it's about the reality, like, of... Of growing up, of getting older. For example, um, he wants to buy a house, right? And he has the, the deposit. And he realized that, oh, it's over 30 years old. So for somebody like me, 30 years old, I'll be 60. For somebody like, um, I don't know, one, a lot of my boys, if they were to start investing right now at 20, at 25, it will be 50, 55. And my father, he's a house owner. And he started at 25 and he got the house, he was 54. No, so it's the fact that Michael realized that yo, at my age, it'd be very hard to find a house, and it's also about uh, him understanding that yo, this is possibly time for me to have a family, because the first one of the first thing he says is, I want to see my grandkids playing in the garden, but he doesn't even have kids. So there, there's this, this, and I like the fact that the two plot lines are kind of mixing together well. You got Jim who's bored, right? Who's you? This is interesting. This is really interesting. So, as I talk about this, I get, I think a lot. Right, I got ADHD. So, Jim creates a game to waste time, and Michael buy the condo, realizing he wasted too much time. You see, great writing, amazing writing. 